Hello everyone and very welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you can see today we're mixing it with a slurry with uh, with our cross lagoon mixer. I need to be very careful here because if we stay at this it'll get too thick so I'm going to get it broke up a bit more and then I will stop and uh, probably tomorrow we'll be piping this stuff out. So that's where we're at now at the moment. Um, we have a good bit on for the week and obviously we'll show you everything that's going on. Our CS110 will be uh, off with the sprayer, I have the sprayer hooked up to that and that's what she's going to be at for the next few days. Right, so um, yesterday you saw a bit of the mixing and obviously today now we're spreading uh, but it's very very windy and it's uh, destroying the back of the tractor. It's hard to uh, keep it clean but once it keeps wetting it I'm able to use the wiper but it, the bother is when it just gets wet and no more than it dries in and it makes it uh, quite a mess. Um, anyway, we're going to pipe out this one. Um, we've actually piped this field already this year, but like everything, everyone is kind of trying to maximize uh, slurry usage this year. So this is the second round of it. Uh, probably next will be fertilizer, I'd imagine. But um, yeah, two rounds of slurry on this um, this year. Uh, I, last night I done a bit of spraying but uh, it was very very windy so um, I had to stop up it's also extremely windy today but um, tomorrow I think it's supposed to be calm so tomorrow is Sunday and uh, I'll get another bit of spraying done but uh, the piping is um, I'm gonna touch wood or my head I suppose um, is going a bit better um, than it was we'll say maybe last year um we're laying the pipe out different or i'm laying the pipe out different and it seems to be making a big odds it seems to be making it a lot easier to manage it um than the way i was doing it last year i was kind of basically what i'm doing now is i'm splitting the field going over the one corner and then working my way over and back and once i've too much holes i'm dropping off a lint and uh, that seems to be doing the trick but um last year I was going at 45 degrees to the, the furthest away corner and uh, coming over and back and over and back and uh, sometimes it led to problems but uh, I've tried this method now a few times and it seems to work a bit better so I think I'll stick with this one uh, for the time being but um, now I have to negotiate a pole so I'll head off down that direction and then come back up and go and go over and uh, that'll, that'll cure that one, that'll be us uh, around the pole and we have another pole over that side of the field so that'll take me, I'll be a good hour getting over to there anyway Right, hello everyone and look at this for a beautiful day someday, absolutely savage uh, really picks up the humour in everyone once you've, uh, once you've a nice day but um, I'm out spraying in, we're in Causeway today, which is uh, a bit from home, but um, uh, we've been uh, actually sold this man a plough a couple of years ago, and uh, subsequently I've been doing bits and pieces of work for him since, but um, burning off uh, grassland here that uh, is going into tillage, which uh, seems to be a bit of um, going to happen this year. I was at a bit of that up near home as well with uh, 20, 20 acres odd burnt off at home, maybe a bit with it. And uh, I think there's 60 or 70 here, I'm not quite sure, um, that he is going putting into uh, into crops. So, big change for a lot of people, but uh, with the price of feed and all of that, uh, people seem to be making the switch over. And uh, that seems to be what all this is about. Um, but look, the weather like that, the weather is savage improving. Um, great forecast for the week, so I think it's about time I got the drone back out and get the drone up and uh, you'll be able to see more of the action and, and less talking, which is always a good thing, I suppose. Um, but other than that, really, everything is ticking away very nicely and going very well. Um, we're out drawing bales and stuff like that at the moment. And next week, a lot of slurry to do next week. Uh, tomorrow morning I'll be out with the trail and shoe. We'll probably pipe and the do during the week as well. And uh, various tanking jobs as well need to be done. So that'll keep us busy for the week. But ground conditions are pretty poor as you can see here. I am leaving tracks in this place. Um, he doesn't care. He told me to stay going because he's going plowing it anyway. But just goes to show that conditions are pretty poor. So 
I'll build on of this. I keep spraying away and we'll chat to you soon. Right, so we've we done 40 acres in that job. Um, there was some left to do, but uh, it, it was just too wet. Uh, I wasn't got stuck, so we're going to leave this. Um, that is enough there to do him to get plowing anyway. That'll that'll once that starts dying off, that'll take him a while to plow that much ground. Um, so at this time of the year, well, we're coming into a great time of the year now. I really enjoy this time of the year because um, not only is it getting warm. But um, also, you're kind of doing a bit of everything, and there's while you're busy, you're not under savage pressure, or you're not under massive weather pressure either. If it doesn't, um, you know, if you can't do a job today, tomorrow doesn't, kind of stuff like that to a certain extent. So, I like this time of the year, and like I say, you get a huge variety of work in, but also, it's um, it's going to be a huge help to us. Um, I think anyway, if um, we're selling tractors and stuff in the future, because from now on, a tractor can go away and uh, it can be put on something, you know, and someone, if someone comes to see it, then there'll be kind of always something to do. And uh, for example, our MXM is coming next week, I think. Uh, it should be here in the next week, so. Uh, if we get a couple of wet days, I'll give a run through her and get, and get her perfect and uh, ready to go. And um, then after that, it's gonna, we have an awful lot of plowing to do this spring, I think. Um, so that tractor can stay on the plow and literally, if someone wants to come and see the tractor, they can plow away to their heart's content with it, you know. And I think that's, a, that's something I've never had the opportunity to do when I've been buying something. And I think it should be a, it should be a great chance for people to really get a feel for what they're looking for and that kind of thing. So that's kind of my my um, uh, I suppose my selling point really on that kind of thing that they'll be um, presented in perfect condition and whoever's looking at them will actually be able to use them because they can only tell so much by taking you up for a drive up and down the road. So that's the way I'm going to work it. Um, so yeah, look, I tell that's pretty much it for this week and uh, thanks for all the views if you haven't already subscribed and this is your first time seeing the channel give a look back through some of the older videos there there's some very good ones in my opinion and all the viewers opinion as well so yeah that's it for me and we'll talk to you next week hello everyone and welcome back I don't quite know what this video will contain um, because there's footage there from bits of last week and I didn't do much filming. I don't think I've any filming done this week. And today is Friday, so I might make a video tonight, depending on what time we get home. But um, look, I don't know what will be in it. It could be a mixed match of stuff, but um, to be fair, you don't seem to mind what they contain anyway. Um, you seem to be happy enough to watch, uh, watch whatever is going on in them. So anyway, basically uh, today we're piping slurry. Um, we have 600 meters of pipe out, it's very thick slurry, uh, but it's actually getting a bit better as we're going, so once I get down another bit I'll be able to drop off one lint of pipe and then I won't be pulling as much pipe and uh, obviously we'll get more flow because I'll be dropping about 200 meters off, so we'll be back to 400 in, we should have a very very fast flow uh, through the two flash beds. Um, Otherwise, look, all this week we've been spreading slurry. Um, piping, is this our first piping job this week? This is our first piping job this week. And the rest of the week contained uh, plenty of tanking going on. We were on a big long draw there yesterday. And uh, we were glad to get that one blown out yesterday. It was a gift, gift to get it done. Other than that, what's really going on? Um, waiting for stuff, waiting for our front TTO to come for our 7550. I'd like to get that moving now, um, till we get to organised with it, because it won't be far away, so it won't be far away now, so I'd like to get that PTO um, home and get it fitted to the tractor and make sure everything is working uh, 100%. Um, I don't know whether I said it in a bit previous bit of footage, but our CS110 is sold. So, if 
we get a couple of days uh, wet days next week, uh, that'll be going to its new owner. And the MXM will be here uh, next week also. So that'll be something free to look at. And uh, we'll give a run through her. And she'll probably be going straight to work because we have some groundboard off for plowing. And uh, we might be getting stuck into that if we get any kind of reasonable weather. I think she's gonna, she'll probably do the plowing this spring. So yeah, uh, that's how we're going here. Odd bit of silage coming through our splash plates. Um, that one is partially blocked now. You can just tell by the way it's flowing through it. I'll we'll stop this one for a second. I might clear it out. No, it's still, still kind of blocked. But eventually that will come out through it. And, uh, but yeah, that's kind of, that's what we're at today. As the day rolls on, if I've anything more interesting to show you, I'll be sure to include it.